Alright guys, I uh, gave this quiz today and I meant for it to be pretty simple uh, but it didn't turn out that way. Uh, it seems like a lot of people did pretty poorly. Uh, generally people didn't do great. Um, so I'm going to go over it and just uh, kind of solve it the same way I did the last quiz where generally people did pretty poorly and then hopefully everyone will understand so like I say with uh, all circuits you should start by writing down what you know right so this four milliamps flows uh, from right to left through this uh, branch of the circuit here um, which means that it has to flow up through these resistors over here and then down through these resistors and then back through ground this way right so right off the bat we know the current flowing through these all four resistors this is four milliamps this is four milliamps this is four milliamps and this is four milliamps right so now uh, we just need to find all the voltages right so uh, this side is pretty easy because um, this is pretty standard. We've got current flowing down through this resistor. We know that the voltage drop across the resistor is equal to whatever the current is times whatever the resistance is, which means the drop across this resistor is 4 volts, right? So that means V1 then in turn is 4 volts. So V1 is 4 volts. So box that and then move on. Now I know the drop across this resistor is 4 milliamps times 2K, which is 8 volts. So that means that moving up from this 4 volts, my drop across this resistor is 8, so that makes this 12 volts. So V2 is 12 volts. Right? Now on this other side, uh, across this R4 we've got 4 milliamps times 2k and my current's flowing uh, from ground up which means um, that this voltage should be negative because again uh, current always flows from higher to lower potential so if I'm dropping 8 volts across this resistor 4 times 2 right then that means that V4 is negative 8 volts because it goes from 0 and drops by 8 8 volts right here. So V3, oh sorry, that's V4. So V4 is negative 8 volts. And I'll leave some room for V3. V3, all I do is the same thing. I've got current flowing this way, so I know I drop even lower voltage. Uh, how much lower? I drop by 4 milliamps times 1K, which is 4 volts. Thus, V3 is negative 12 volts because I go from negative 8 and I drop by 4. So V3 is negative 12 volts, and that's my quiz right there. So it seems like a lot of people made the mistake of... Um, people still aren't really understanding that when I take I times R, that gives me the voltage drop across the resistor. Basically, the difference between the two voltages. It doesn't tell me the voltage on one side. It doesn't tell me the voltage on the other side. It tells me the voltage drop across that resistor, right? When resistors are connected to ground, it's really easy because the voltage on one side of the resistor is just the drop across the resistor because the other side is at zero. Um, a lot of people are still messing that up. Um, I hope that this uh, clarifies the problem and I'll just, you know what, since we have a little bit extra time, I'll just throw it in spice real quick just to prove it so that nobody can get mad at me. Actually, you know what, I have it already done. I think it was quiz five, right? So there it is. Let me dot op that and we'll run it. Close it. You can see V3, V1, V2, V3, V4 uh, right here. I can also come back to the circuit and click on the nodes to show those voltages. So 4, 12, negative 12, negative 8, and then we come back here, we got 4, 12, negative 12, negative 8. So 
Hope this helps everybody, and uh, I'll see you all Wednesday.